Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? What about stay up in this mood? I am back from the dead, and I have got a completed Zinch Herald on disc. This is supposed to be part two of my two-part series, how to paint a crazy surfing demon thing. But when I was looking over all of the footage for all of the clips that I did, I, I was filming my how to paint video when I was caught in the throes of the flu that mutated into the worst ear infection I've ever had in my life and I just sounded so horrible and out of it and um, I, I, I think it would have been really just painful to watch and, and, and it was really boring when I was putting all the clips together so what I decided to do was instead of forcing you to sit through all of that torture I'm gonna show you some of the tips that I used to paint Harold the Herald and you can take those to use on your own Herald or even your own Pink Horrors because that's kind of what I'm basing this guy on, okay? So, as you can see from my paint scheme, I went with a not, not really too much of a pink tone to him, but more of a dwarf flesh, elf flesh, reddish tinge. And the way I achieved that was first I base coated all of the skin parts with Talarn flesh and then I washed it down with Baal Red instead of Ogren Flesh. And what that does is it gives you those, oops, gives you these, let me close up in a little bit more, these deep red shadowy pockets there in all the grooves that stay there and look really, really nice. And some of them I even added a little bit of Leviathan Purple to the really dark recesses. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you um, a lot of shade and contrast and some, some really good colors to play with. Then I highlighted up with Dwarf Flesh mixed into the Talon Flesh. And then the final highlight that I used on Harold's skin was some Bleached Bone mixed in. Okay, I... What else did I do? I painted the metallics like I paint all of my metallics with Boat Gun Metal and Ian Den Dark Sun. Boat Gun Metal for the silver, Ian Den Dark Sun as a base for the gold, and then I painted up the gold with Shining Gold. I also found a lot of gems and baubles and rhinestones and stuff, or, or not rhinestones, but different kinds of precious stones all over the model, so I decided to paint them up in a just a rainbow of colors so blue red yellow green <clears throat> all all over the model so that he could just look like a you know just a rainbow of of different colors the horns i painted with deneb stone and then i washed with bada black and the blue zinchi sorceress fire and the fur i painted up the same i used a base coat of hawk turquoise and then I feathered up with ice blue and then a mix of ice blue and skull white and this produces a very ghostly fiery effect so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way he turned out I don't have a demons army a chaos demons army but if I do then I, I would definitely consider using him because he's he was a lot of fun to paint and I imagine him to be a lot of fun on the field. So, sorry that I, I don't have a full complete video for you to for you to watch a uh, step-by-step process, but if you have any questions at all about how I painted any part of this guy, please uh, let me know and I will be sure to answer in the comment sections. Let me know what you think too because I haven't seen many videos of people who have painted this guy up and so I, I'd be interested to know if you've seen him painted up um, you know, what, what have you seen that looks good on him? What are some things that I didn't do that might work? Uh, I did the OSL lighting for his base just by feathering on some hawk turquoise and then ice blue in the direction, kind of like he's, he's lit up from the bottom and, and he's lighting up the ground. He's lit up underneath and it's casting a light as he's fly floating by. And... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry again that I've been sick these past couple of weeks. Man, it's been it's been hellacious. So much pain. I didn't know you could get an ear infection once you're not a kid anymore. Ugh. 
man, I'm still on antibiotics and I'm still a little bit stuffy, but I'm finally over my flu and the worst part of the ear infection is gone, so back to making videos, hopefully on a more regular basis, and let's see if there's anything else I can share with you from this guy. I painted his tongue purple, you can't really see it though. But yeah, there he is. There he is. Gave him some yellow eyeballs. Yeah. But let me know if you have any questions on what I did, how I did it, and I'll be sure to answer you. Next up in the works is possibly a fine cast of Vlad von Karstein, as well as I've just about finished with these guys, my Blood Angel Scouts. And here's my sergeant with the power fist, and he used to have just a regular bolt pistol, but I read somewhere that a combi flamer was the way to go with him, so I built him up a scratch built combi flamer out of, I think it was a combi uh, melta and some flamer bits glued together. So I'm kind of happy with the way it came out. Kind of looks like what I imagined a combi flamer would look like. Alright, but I'm not going to let him hijack this video anymore. Get out of here, you. This is about Harold the Herald and his awesome surfboard of chaos. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. Please leave me some comments. Let me know how you like the finished product and what you think. If you've got this model, let me know uh, if you've done anything differently in your paint scheme of him. Uh, I know uh, I probably would want to use the staff as well. I just thought this rock and roll hand with the eyeball coming out of it looked too cool not to use. And um, thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Say goodbye Harold. Ah!